Welcome. This is Annuity News Now. My guest is Amy McElwain. She is the founder and president of FinancialSocialMedia.com. Amy, welcome back. Thanks for having me again, Scott. You presented to a group of financial and legal professionals today. Can you talk about your presentation? How did it go and what did you talk about? Today I presented on social media, uh, what it is, just an overview of how important these networks are, how they're growing, and what you need to know to be a part of them and how ultimately it'll help you grow your business and increase your referrals. Well, let's begin by uh, talking about the inherent benefits and uh, differences between Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Absolutely. So you really need to communicate differently on the various networks. Twitter, you want to think about it like a radio station. Different people are listening at different times. So you can post your message a little uh, more frequently. Maybe if you have a new blog post out, you post it this morning, you post it tomorrow afternoon, the following day you post it in the evening, and you can repeat that same message. You should be doing about three to five posts a day. Uh, and think of yourself like a content DJ. You are aggregating all of the best content out there on the web and putting it in one spot and positioning yourself as the expert on this knowledge for your potential clients. Facebook, however, is a lot more of a personal touch point. With Facebook, you really want to be only posting once or twice a day. You want to be uh, engaging your audience and establishing your personal brand. And your personal brand, you need to think about you know, what three things represent you. You know, um, and I always recommend doing two business and one personal. So for me, for example, I mentioned that I am or my personal brand. I'm a social connector, entrepreneur, and traveler. So unless it is of interest or adds value to one of those three topics, I don't post it. And yeah, it's kind of random to put traveler in there, but that's who I am. And that's what I want um, you know, to people to connect with me on a personal level about. And you'll find that by creating personal relationships with your clients, you're gonna have a lot more loyalty. LinkedIn is um, a great way to position yourself as an expert in your local community by participating in groups. Join groups in your local area. I live in Denver. If you type in Denver and groups, there's over a thousand different groups in the local Denver area. So I've joined some of those groups. Uh, you know, join those groups in your local area, uh, post your blogs, ask questions, answer questions, and just participate uh, in the, the group community. And you'll be amazed at how much traffic that'll drive to your website and the type of referrals and strategic business relationships that can come out of that. Amy, advisors often hear you have to be on the social platforms. Can you explain the process, how this translates actually into business development? Well, with social media, the best place to start really is your website. Your website is your online presence. And if you don't have a good website in place, it's going to be difficult to really see the success of your social media channels. And with your website, there's four main components you need to have. I highly recommend having a blog built in as part of your website. With your social media strategy, what you're going to be doing is posting fresh content to your website and then broadcasting and reaching people um, through social media channels. So as soon as you post a new blog post, put that out on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, and drive that traffic back to your website where this fresh content is hosted. So in addition to that, you also need to have your social media icons. Make sure they're posted above the fold where people can easily access them. Have a Facebook like box on your website, and then have some type of offer and lead generating um, piece of information. For example, download this um, investor awareness guide and where they can enter their name, phone number, email, they download this guide and then all of a sudden you have a lead. Amy, what do you tell an advisor, financial professional when they say, well I just don't blog or I don't know what to say? You have to have a website. You know, it's your online storefront. More people will look at your website than will ever come into your office. So have a website and make sure it looks professional. And it can be daunting to create some of that content. So maybe then rather than creating it on your own, aggregate it. There's a lot of um, great shortcuts. Uh, there's different social media aggregation software such as Hootsuite, which is the one I prefer. And you can plug in RSS feeds from Wall Street Journal financial section. And again, you're just playing content DJ, DJ. So even if it's not your own content, you're sharing other content. And by you being the one that brings them that content, it still positions you as the expert, even if you're not writing it yourself. Well, what's next for your uh, company, FinancialSocialMedia.com, Amy? 
We've got a lot of really exciting stuff coming up. We've put together a 12-part coaching series that teaches you everything you need to know A to Z, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, compliance, social media strategy. All of these videos are broken out to what you need to watch, what your assistant can handle, and it gives you all of the tools you need to be successful. Beyond that, we have a subscription service that's going to be available for content because uh, as you mentioned, content is a big challenge. A lot of people don't have time to write the content. So what we've done is we've compiled a library of ghostwritten blog posts that you can take and post um, under your own name. We're putting out a fresh one every week written by financial professionals. Uh, we also have uh, once a month, you're gonna have status updates that you can plug in and they'll run out daily. So everything will be timed so that all you have to do is plug it into Hootsuite and it'll send out daily on your behalf. And then there's going to be a monthly Q&A and a monthly advisor spotlight e-newsletter highlighting one of your peers that is doing a good job at using financial, uh, or doing a good job of using social media in their financial practice. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much for having me. That's Amy McElwain. She's again president and founder of FinancialSocialMedia.com and you're watching Annuity News Now.